Good morning. Malachi, are you ready to move out? You gotta pack your bags, we're moving you out. As soon as we finish that room, you're moving out. We're gonna get your bedroom ready today. What do you think about that? <laughs> wow, tripods are so fun. been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out. good morning friends it is saturday and we have a lot going on today we are going to be working on well first i am making some sourdough bagels i have a sourdough bread loaf to make and then um we are going to be putting malachi down for a nap and working on getting his bedroom set up. So I'll show you a little bit later, but we have been using our bedroom as a nursery for Malachi since he came home and that's worked out so well. Seriously, no regrets about doing that. We've loved it. But it's just time for him to move into his own room because we have the space and I think both of us are looking forward to being able to use our bedroom more often during naps and things like that. We also have an office space in our bedroom and we can't really use that when he has, when he's down for naps. So I think I'm really looking forward to using that space a little bit more to get some work done for my day job. And we're just kind of looking forward to not having to walk on eggshells when we go, go into the bedroom when he's asleep. So it'll be exciting to have him just in a different room, just down the hall. Uh, he's sleeping through the night now from like 6, 6.30 to 7-ish, so he he's totally fine to do this now, and I think he's ready for it. With that being said, we have a lot to do to get the room ready. We are replacing the floors. Um, since we actually are, re are planning to replace the floors in the entire upstairs, we already have all the flooring to do it. We just haven't done the work yet. We are going to be painting the room, replacing doors, replacing the trim, just cleaning it up in there. So I want to take you guys along with me. But first, let's make some bagels. Okay, so first things first, I have this beautiful risen bagel dough. It is so risen because I made it actually yesterday during the day. It rose all day yesterday and then overnight. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour this out onto a lightly floured surface. We're going to divide the dough into eight sections, even sections. We are going to shape the bagels, put them out on a pan, and let them rest for about 30 minutes before boiling the bagels. making all the bagels we shaped out six bagels normally I make eight but this batch just six worked out better so I made six bagels now I'm getting the water boiling so what you do is you make the dough you let the dough rise and you shape the dough into your bagels then you let it let it rest for like 30 minutes then you're going to boil water put your bagels in the boiling water for a couple minutes flip a couple minutes and then you just bake oh and then you top them so I'm gonna top them with sesame seeds um, and chia seeds and then the last thing you do is you just bake them so bake them at like 450 degrees for like 25 minutes and They're all set so they're super they're really actually super easy um, especially if, if you do have sourdough starter really easy to make sourdough bagels I'll post the recipe I'm using in the description below now. I also have to take this <laughs> Super super risen dough that I made last night or yesterday yesterday morning actually sourdough See how risen it is, all those holes in there. 
and I'm gonna turn that into a bread loaf. So that's also pretty easy too. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and shape it, let it do one more rest in a bowl, and then we'll go ahead and bake it after we finish the bagels. Um, grab the fork, wow. Well, these two are clowning around over here. Um, so I have the bread, which I just shaped. I don't know if you guys can see, this is the bottom of it. So it's like all the, the messy side. And then in a little bit, probably like an hour after I finish the bagels, I'm gonna flip this into parchment paper, uh, put the flour on the top, score it, and then put it in the Dutch oven to bake in the oven. Mm, just got more dough on my hands. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the sourdough loaf I made yesterday, which is almost gone because I shared some with my mother-in-law and Malachi ate some for breakfast and we had some yesterday. So um, this is all that's left of the loaf of yesterday. You can see how nice that looks. It smells delicious, tastes even better, just really good. I've been having a lot of luck with this one recipe I've been using. And the recipe is out of the book, Artisan Sourdough Made Simple by Emily Rafa. So if you're looking for really easy recipes to follow that have kind of consistent results, go ahead and check that recipe out. I do make some changes. So I am gonna type up a recipe on the blog soon based on the changes that I make. All that's left now is to bake the bagels, just waiting for the oven to heat up to 425, and then I'm gonna bake them for about 25 minutes till they're nice and golden brown. Not brown brown, but just golden. <laughs> and then we'll pull them out and we'll spread some vegan cream cheese on it. I take um, just vegan cream cheese and I add like some tomato powder, some cayenne, some other pepper powder, some garlic and onion powder, and mix it all up to make like a really herby, flavorful, spicy cream cheese, which is something we kind of model after a local bagel shop that has a spicy veggie cream cheese, which is super yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little break, chill with the little one. My second loaf of sourdough I made the first one yesterday over here and then I have we have got four bagels left we had two for breakfast so we made six this is a really beautiful loaf of bread I love how when you take it out of the oven you can hear it like 
crackle and pop as it cools down. It's just like this little soft sound that reminds you that you just made delicious bread. So you are supposed to, supposed to let it rest for a little bit. I think that just helps the structure kind of like finish forming and keeps that heat in while it just kind of finishes baking on the inside. But nobody said you can't just give it a lot of sniffs. So you might not be able to eat it right away, but you definitely can smell it. That smells so good, you guys. This spread was fermented like mm, eight hours longer than I typically do. So it's going to have a more sour flavor and it's also going to be better for your gut. Um, the sourdough helps break down the gluten so it's easier on your system. And the longer you ferment it, the easier it is to um, eat it. So, oh, it smells so good, guys. And the bagels were the best they've ever been. I think because, again, like they fermented for about six hours longer than I normally do since I made the dough yesterday around one. Normally I make the dough at night around eight. So uh, there was about seven, eight hours of extra fermentation time, which means more sourdough flavor and they were like lighter and fluffier as well. So definitely going to ferment for longer going forward. I just think it just really maximizes that flavor. There are, 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 there are also a lot of other ways you can increase the sourdough flavor by waiting to feed your sourdough, feeding it less often, having it ferment in a cooler area, things like that. So there's like a lot of things you can do, but I think having a longer fermentation period is just a great option if you really want that yummy sourdough flavor. Anywho, we're gonna, Chris is gonna do the chores. I'm going to finish my chai tea latte and then we're probably gonna start working on the bedroom. But I'm not sure because we don't wanna wake Malachi up. I don't know, how do you guys do home projects and DIY stuff with a baby? That's like a whole new challenge for me. I guess toddler now, but trying to do it around nap time means you'd be really quiet. Trying to do it when he's awake means one of us has to watch him. It's just, it's a totally different world we're living in now with Malachi and trying to do home renovation projects. The temperature is in the single digits today and it is just really cold. You can see the condensation on the windows. Very cold out there. Hi. <gasps> Hi. Hey, are you ready to be up? Ah. <laughs> do, you want, do you want mama to pick you up? Ah. Me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. Does that sound good? Good? <laughs> so currently, this is the state of our bedroom. As you can see, on this side is where we have the nursery. We have the rocker, crib, changing table, Malachi carrying some Advil. Then we turned this closet area, former closet, into nursery. And this is our new closet, which is actually really spacious and very cost effective it's like super maximized for space and kind of messy but it's worked really well so we are going to be moving this into the pink room we're not going to be like getting rid of the wallpaper or anything like that but we are going to be moving his crib and his dresser into what we call the pink room which is going to be his bedroom um and i'll show you guys that in a minute Okay guys, well this is the pink room, as you can see. It is in the need, in big need of a paint job. We're gonna paint the walls like a nice uh, creamy white, and then we'll do some kind of accent wall, I think, on this wall. And we're gonna replace the trim. We're putting all of this flooring in. Same flooring that's in our bedroom. We're gonna be putting that all in here. Um, selling this dresser and then replacing the doors here with nicer doors. So it's gonna be really nice in here. So we're talking about moving in the next year or two. And so one of the things we wanna do is we wanna finish renovating this house. We've renovated the kitchen, the downstairs, our bedroom. Now we wanna finish up with the laundry room, the downstairs bath, and this bedroom. 
Uh, there's a few other projects like we want to do the staircase and the railing and then we have to finish up with a basement as well as finishing with the barn and doing just some cleanup around the farm but most of the projects are in the house so this is one that is long overdue and we never really use this room so i'm looking forward to creating a nice modern space in here that's just fresh and ready for malachi but also potential new owners who would move here